there are three breweries in Switzerland right. that we talked about in the last video being famous for their uh, barrel-aged beers. Right. Uh, in our um, opinion, me and Yana's opinion, mm -hmm. you are the third brewery. Oh. Um, could you talk about the other two? Right, so the big two brothers. I mean, obviously we know both of them quite well, meaning we also did a collaboration a couple of years ago with Swatam, which was like a huge like opportunity for us, as well as I think also helped us to make the decision to actually go pro, because it was really interesting and fun to see how others actually do it in a similar kind of, uh, let's say, range of beers. Uh, so hence, I have like huge respect from Twata whatever they do, because they have a really interesting portfolio. Uh, also, obviously, more mainstream kind of products, which are also, I mean, nothing against them. They are really nice, well balanced, well made, easy to drink. Uh, I mean, and beside that, also obviously the more like uh, barrel age projects, more sours, more also spontaneous fermentation they did, obviously because of the brewer they had, or still have, uh, from Chester King, which is, I think, um, I think I can basically speak for both of us, meaning my brother and myself, it's the, the brewery that we look up to, because they make, I mean, really nice products, um, also some really nice products that are low ABV, meaning a lot, uh, low alcohol volume, but a lot of taste, which is, I think, in my opinion, the hardest to do. Meaning there is nothing, not much, not much to mask. And also, uh, Trotam, they have some really interesting low ABV products in place, which again have a lot of flavors, a lot of character complexity, and obviously also their uh, spontaneous fermentation, which are really hard to get, but I mean amazing in terms of. Uh, complexity, variability, sensory, and it's a lot of fun to actually see that they are also trying to push on this boundary as well. Um, could be part of the reason why they're hard to get that they're exporting 75% of their capacity? Probably, which makes sense again because I mean the Swiss beer market, I think I can actually also speak for let's say the other two breweries, is maybe not there yet in terms of these beer styles because um, I recently came across a talk where they said uh, that like these kind of beers, beet sours or barrel age are like an acquired taste as it is with like let's say really wacky slash wild cheeses which is, which is actually true. I don't think that a lot of people actually really appreciate the flavor of a really old, I don't know what, Camembert or a Roquefort from the very early days. I think you actually have to get to know the cheeses quite a bit to actually understand what they uh, what they actually, how they work and how, what, what is it that makes them how they are, for instance. And I think it's the same exact uh, principles you can actually apply for these kind of beers, right? So you need a more, you need to give people time to actually um, get them to the point where they appreciate the product of yours, to actually understand why is it is, why is it the way it is, why is it so complex, why is it so weird, why is it so hard to get, why is it so expensive, uh, because there is no other way to do this, right? And I also believe that, I mean, obviously, export is a big part of this particular, I think, portfolio that you do. Uh, again, sure, if you can actually export a lot of the products, makes sense. But I also believe you have to push within Switzerland as well. Meaning, if you, if only, if these beers only get exported, there is no way for Swiss people to actually have a contact point to actually get to know these kind of beers, right? If you only, let's say, if you only have the IPAs within Switzerland and all the really interesting slash wild ale or whatnot beers are exported, why should Swiss people actually get to the point where they actually appreciate these kind of beer styles as well, right? And how would you differentiate uh, your brewery from what the other two are doing? I mean, I would basically say we are for sure more focused on the yeast.